today we're going to draw the third of the three bands that I said we would draw. And just to start with, let's lay out the band the way that you need to draw it. So you need to place 12 uh, dots in uh, three lines and then in between you have your dots where you have 11 and 11 and they're sitting sort of in the center of the squares. I've set out how you do it down here. Then you want to draw in your stops and you start off by going to the center line uh, of the line with 12 dots and you move down to dot number two and you draw a vertical stop down to dot number three. Then you skip dot number four, go down to dot number five and draw a vertical stop to number six. Then you skip down to dot number seven and draw a vertical stop down to dot number eight. You skip your dot number nine and go down to dot number 10 and draw a vertical line down to dot 11. That's the vertical stops that you need to put in this band. Then I suggest that you put in another few stops and the easiest way of doing this is simply by looking at where your vertical stops are already and you find the little dot, little center dot and draw a horizontal stop out to the side, either side of your uh, vertical stops. So you do that all the way down, like so. And then what you want to do is you want to go down. So you want to find the dot that didn't have any stops running vertically from it. And out to the side, you want to place a sort of, almost not quite into the center, a horizontal stop. And I've put number two here at the side simply just to remind myself that it actually comes in on a little bit on either side of this dot here. And the same here at the bottom, between those two bottom um, vertical stops, you place your horizontal stops like, like so. So you actually have quite a few um, horizontal stops as well as vertical stops. The reason that you want to do this is because the band is not drawn where you have uh, your normal way of working through. Normally we would work up until I can't get further. Here I'm hitting my stop and then I would turn and come in between the dots here. But we don't do that in this band. This band is different and that's why it's also a little bit more complex because here we're working more freely and we're really working with forms and trying to create a beautiful band. Here I've drawn up the form that we're going to work with in this band so that you can see what it looks like. So we're going to use this shape and we're going to use this shape and we're going to use a sort of semicircle as well. So if you want to practice, those are the three lines to practice. But I suggest that you practice them in the actual band. So here is the first of the lines that corresponds to this line here. And in order to make this band beautiful, you want to try and aim for this line to kind of stop roughly at the same sort of vertical axis as this one where it started. And then you want to move from here up and come down in a nice curve out to the side. Now obviously you can see I've got my line here but when we're drawing it here we're not going to have that so you just have to kind of try and um, feel your way and make sure that it sort of comes out roughly as far out here on this side as it is on this side. Then you want to move round back up and back down 
and round to the side. I'm not going to try and talk you through how you know you're getting your stops and meeting stops etc like we normally do because it doesn't really <laughs> make uh, necessarily make sense. So I would then draw the bottom shape like so out to the side again here you know this line wants to kind of meet obviously it wants to meet up with the line where it started but we want to start when we're doing this line here we want to start it so that it's sort of in line with the the line up here that will give a nice overall shape to this um, form the next step is to try and draw in the band and this is where I think the stops come in handy. We start out to the side and we move round all the way and we take in that dot, come down and then we have a little pause. Here I'm coming round and up, I'm catching that dot before I'm coming back down and out to the side and here I'm at that place where I was describing over here. So here, I can see already I'm a little bit further out here than I am here with my line. But we're just going through the band now. Coming up, coming back down, and out to the side. And I can also see here I'm a bit further down than I am over here. But I'm roughly in line. So I can bring this down a little bit. Then I want to come in, create a nice curve, come back down and out to the side and meet my line where I started. And then I want to start up here to the side. I want to go in and then create a little dip, catching that line, come out to the side. And here I can see where my where my line should kind of finish. It should be in line with, with this bit up here. And then I'm creating this rounding curve, meeting up with the line there where it started. The next line is going to start up here. And I want it to be roughly in line with this here. So I'm starting it here, coming round, in, out to the side, and I'm a bit further out, I can see that already, but that's okay, it's a living drawing. And then I'm coming in, and creating a little dip, back up, and out to the side. And here, I want to be roughly in line with this um, drawing bit already down here, and I think I am when I'm like this. So then I'm coming in, down, out to the side and here, yeah, here I'm in kind of in line already. So here I then want to create uh, a new dip. I want to actually catch this bit down below before I come up and meet. So here my line is interweaving with this line here. The next uh, section that we're drawing is actually started here. So we come up and round. And then we come up and catch a dot, come back down, out to the side. And here you can see how far out you need to come with your line before you come back round. Up to the side again you can see how far out you need to come with your line and then you come in and up and then back down and meet your line where you started it. So again we have this figure which appears here. Then our next line we start above this and we come around
out to the side. Then we come down, out to the side, and then we come back in, out to the side. And here we come in and down and catch our bit, come out to the side and meet our line where we started it. And then we've got our line where we start it at the top here. We're curving round all the way. And then we come up and down and out to the side. And so here you have this form, this semicircular finishing form. You have that repeated down here. Once you've drawn through your band, what I suggest you do, and uh, what you could do, is you can turn it on its side. What happens when you turn your band on the side is you get a sense of how symmetrical uh, and harmonious your band has gotten. And here you can see it's fairly harmonious, it's fairly symmetrical. I want to just briefly show you, you can pause the video because it shows the uh, vertical stops here has the vertical stops as like we went through and then I've put little numbers here one 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 because there's four vertical stops that just reminds me that I need to put in the horizontal stops and uh, on either side of these uh, vertical stops and then number two that I've put out here is just to remind myself that I also need a couple of stops that are a little bit longer uh, on either side here. Once you've got your lines under control and you can draw your forms beautifully, I suggest you continue by drawing it so that it weaves. And like you can maybe see here, I've already done a pre-drawing so that I just follow the band with my colored pencil. Then clean up your band. The better you become at drawing your bands, um, the more you can do without uh, using stops and dots. You can just simply do the lines um, and that will leave you with a beautiful band without any uh, erasing to do afterwards. Okay, that's all for this week. I'll be back next week where we'll start a, a bigger form drawing exercise.